peace, family. Brother Dawa here one more time. Straight black pride every day, all day. Don't ever change. Brother man, get you a sister. Sister, get you a brother. Drop the other, both of them. First of all, I thank the ancestors, the creative life giving force, the male and the female energy that makes me able to do what I do. Some of you all may not know it, but I think most of you do. My channel was taken down again, second time. Thanks to a young brother out there, out in Nap. You know who he is. That saved my videos to a hard drive the first time and took them off years ago. Now this time I only had 3,700 subscribers. So tell me why the big bad white man who allowed the young white girl that talked about screwing dolls and 10 reasons why women should screw dolls, why they allowed her on YouTube to have 4 million plus views on her video on that alone. It's still up. Channel's still up. But that's what they want to promote. That's okay because see, this is all about culture. Your cult. Culture. Culture. Cult. Your. Your cult. Everybody's in a damn cult. Dummy. Everybody. Everybody in a cult. Your cult. That's your culture. Your culture is your cult, or your cult is culture. The cult that you're in. It's the following, the system that you follow, the things that you do, whatever. The traditional things, the religious, the spiritual things you do, that's your culture, that's all it is. But in the culture of Europeans, it's homosexuality. Lesbianism, transgenderism, bestiality, these are the things they've been trying to do and implement in the law since the 70s. Let's go back to 1969, the uh, Jaffe Memorandum. In the Jaffe Memorandum in 1969, 69, check that out, in 1969, huh? Well, in 1969, the Jaffe Memorandum, it said that they were going to increase homosexuality in media, radio, TV, schools, wherever. And then the Homosexual Manifesto talked about how they were going to rape your sons. The homosexuals came out and said they was going to change the image of the strong, masculine man into a flamboyant, homosexual, beautiful boy. This is the sick, twisted mind of the white man's son. Speaking of, I mean, excuse me, and the white woman's son, I'm sorry. The sick, twisted mind of the white woman. Not sick. I had a radio show, and let me say this before I get into this. Now, Sister Lisa Cabrera, Sister Lisa Cabrera, and my sister, the Radical Home Goddess, I want to thank you all publicly right now because when I stepped off the scene and you see something wrong, you made videos, the people come and the people show love in the videos. Listen, I feel the same way y'all feel about me. The love y'all have for me, I got the same love for y'all. Hungers can't stop that. You understand? And we probably should stop using that word love. That's their damn word. They can't even figure it out. It's probably something different. You see what I'm saying? Because deep feelings of emotion should be mixed with logic and therefore you make the proper decisions as far as the ancestral realm and your life journey and things like this go. You ain't supposed to be in constant confusion. But the white folks have us in constant confusion talking about love and romance and they mix it all together and they call it 50 shades of gray. Well, there are no lines. There are no distinctions anymore. It's what the white women want. White women, I say. See, speaking of white women, the radio show I was getting ready to do, I went to a white woman. This one right here, matter of fact. Anyway, let me, let me see this, see this, see it says out center, diversity, LGBTQ and diversity and inclusiveness training. See, this is training. These white women have been loosed upon these black cities 
like the one I was born in, Benton Harbor, Michigan. They've been unleashed on these cities to teach inclusive. They want to be included in normal everyday life. That's what they want. It's the white man, though, that really, really wants to get to the boys. And the white women that want to get to the girls. See, these people, this woman that, that runs this center told me they got people in Ghana on the ground that are trying to get to them. This is a huge global fight. And I'm all the way thick up in it. Solomon Gamora didn't, didn't last the first time, dumb hunkies. You can't build a life in, in booty holes. It just don't work, dummy. But you hunkies are so damn stupid. That's what y'all do. It's y'all culture. It's your cult. You stick your dangling, white boy, and your son booty and down his throat and everything else. That's what y'all do. Anyway, this lady here is the she, Mary Jo Schneel, executive director of the Out Center, is the sole full-time staff person providing office, program, budget, and fundraising management. She possesses vast professional nonprofit experience in a diversity of roles and within a variety of social justice areas. As a consultant, she provided organizational and leadership development to the Out Center. Leveraging her training as an interim executive director, she became the executive director in August 2015. Leveraging almost 30 years of experience, she has worked with the board, stakeholders, stakeholders, stakeholders now, and strategic, par strategic partners to review and retool program prioritizing serving youth and creating systems, creating systems based change initiatives based on education and organizational partnerships. They're organizing partnerships. This here woman. I talked to her a few years ago when I took my book in there the first time. When I took my book in there the first time, I talked to her the first time, a couple years ago. And they advertised back then for 11 year olds, 18 year olds, for gay pride proms and all this nonsense. Now it's from 14 to 18. They have changed it since I've been in there that last couple years ago. Anyway, this woman here went to the radio station in the city I was born in. I had paid my money and everything. I was supposed to be on the radio doing a radio show. She went down there, she called the station or whatever and told them whatever she said. She called them, she contacted them, but she did something. She made contact some type of way. I don't know what type of way. I don't know what was said. I was told some nonsense story. Like I said that I am the station so we can't do the show. This is what some brother told me to my face. I'm born and raised in the same damn city. 10 years ago, black officials, along with these hunkies, signed to let these hunkies come in through Whirlpool. See, Whirlpool and Jack Nicholas and the golf and Jack Nicholas hunky, they want to come through here with their faggotry. They want to use this, the town because it's it's a, it's, a, it's a harbor town. They want to change, they want to bring their boats in here and dock their boats. They want to come in here and they want to screw in and take children. Matter of fact, two, a few weeks ago, two white boys came in this city and they was trying to snatch up five young black girls, five young black girls in the city I was born in. Could it be because they may be tied with these folk? You see, these folk, like these lesbians, they always have rituals for children. That's what they do. She organizing for you. Let me read it again. It says, she was made the executive director in August 2015, leveraging almost 30 years of experience as a what, lesbian? 30 years of compromising, huh? Compromising, huh? 30 years, huh? 30 years, you ain't want to be with a man, a white man in 30 years. What's wrong with the white man that y'all don't want to be with the white man? Why y'all don't want to be with the white man? White, white lesbian, white dyke, why? Why ain't y'all pushing that in neighborhoods? Hmm? Family, can't do that right. Anyway, it says she has worked with the board stakeholders and strategic partners to review and retool program prioritizing serving youth and creating systems based change initiatives based on education and organizational partnerships 
this is what this woman is here in the city to do. Organize for the youth to be gay, to be homosexual, to be lesbian, to retool that program to continue to reinforce their ways of teaching this non-sense, this non-black cultural way or indigenous cultural way. These are other two other, these are the facilitators here. It's the first one, let me read about the first one. Let me show you up right picture again. This is the first facilitator here. See that? See? That's the first facilitator. Hope you can see it pretty good. Anyway, Natalie Mooney, LPC, NCC, DCC, is a professional licensed counselor in the state of Michigan. She received her Master of Counseling, Master of Counseling, psychology degree from the Adler School of Professional Psychology in Chicago, Illinois. She is a National Board Certified Counselor who is also cred credentialed, mm, credentialed, sorry, in distance counseling, whatever that is. As the mother of a trans boy, Natalie understands many of the questions and feelings that come up around issues of identity and access and is devoted to helping others create safe and inclusive places and policies for the LGBTQ plus people. Huh. Again, Natalie understands many of the questions, since she has a trans boy that is, and feeling that come up around issues of identity and access and is devoted to helping others create safe and inclusive places and policies for LGBT and plus people. LGBTQ, excuse me, sorry, plus people. You know what I think, in my opinion? She trained her son. That's what they do. They, they, he's a little child. How does he know that he's a, he want to get his whatever, Spanish dog or pull up on his butt, stuck in his booty. I, I, what, I, how, how does he supposed to know as a child, a kid, that, that he wants to be a, 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 a trans boy? They train them white, Women train boys to get popped in the butt. That's what they do. They train them to get the they train them to get their penises cut off. Listen, Bruce Jenner is the son of the white woman. These people, these, this this is their culture. This is their culture. This is what these hunkies do. That ain't what we do. She has a trans boy, and she running around trying to teach cause she, or well, cause her son's a trans boy. She understands the question that's gonna come up when you talk about trans boys, right? She has a degree in psychology, right? All the hunkies with degrees in psychology, why is there so many crazy damn hunkies, and why y'all blowing your damn brains out? If you had it all together, why are you faggots and lesbians among you hunkies Blow your brains out all the damn time. You want to blame somebody like me? No. Because your ass is sick and twisted. That's why you do it. Anyway, here's another one. There's another. I look, she looks like a, a dude. For real. Anyway, her name is Margot Runkle. She's an attorney, mediator, and family therapist. Her career has included work as a prosecutor, corporate lawyer, and family mediator. She now primarily works as a therapist who specializes in trauma. Margo has presented trainings uh, on LGBTQ issues to judges, lawyers, and mediators throughout the state of Michigan and for the American Bar Association in Chicago. She has served on the board of the Out Center since 2013. These women do not push loving white men. That is a problem. Keep that evil, wicked, stank, nasty, funky behavior to your white ass self. If you want white men to bang your sons in the bulo, to stick their damn penis in their throat, back and ears, and whatever the hell, cut a hole in their belly to put it in there, that's y'all's business. That's your cult, hunkies. Huh? Go back to where you come from, the caves, you beasts. This ain't the radio. It's my video. I'm saying what I want. You call it hate speech. I really don't give a damn what you call it. Why do you white women, I want you to come on, let's talk about, you know what, let's Skype it up. How, how about that? Maybe y'all ain't too scared to Skype. Why don't we Skype on And you tell the black race in the city of Benton Harbor, 
Why the hell are they supposed to allow their children that's 14 years old to hang around y'all's asses? See, they created the situation. Their father's fathers created the situation of a rape among black men to little boys because they were fathers, fathers, fathers on plantation. Not these two per se, I'm just saying white women in general, their fathers, fathers, fathers back on the plantation had a process they called the buck breaking process where they would rape a man after they, a black man, after they beat him to a pulp in front of his woman. And they raped little boys. They had sex farms. It's a movie called Goodbye Uncle Tom. They had sex farms where white homosexual faggots, these type women's sons, rape little black boys, turn them into homosexuals, and they sold them to other hunkies that came through. Hunky men. They came through, same kind of men they're going to bring in your neighborhood, white faggots that want little black boys. The same process is going on today with these kind of freaks. Hmm? They had sex farms for our little boys where white homosexual men raped little boys and they sold the little boys to other hunkers that came through neighborhoods looking for little boys, black boys, to buy and turn out and turn into homosexuals. This is what white folk been doing for eons. Hunky, two white boys came through Benton Harbor, Michigan a few weeks ago and tried to snatch five black girls. Five! Could it possibly be that they might be some kin to these type white women that come and work at our centers? Could it be that they some kin to some whirlpool folk that run the city? Could it be that the mayor who done got paid off in Benton Harbor? Could he possibly know about it? I mean, the mayor of Ben Harbor can look outside his goddamn window at the city hall and damn that see the out center, depending on where his office is. I ain't never seen his office in city hall. But anyway, Mr. Muhammad, I'm pretty sure he know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty, the white the, the out the out center is walking distance from the damn city hall. Really? So you all are harboring pedophiles right in the middle in the midst of the city, right downtown. Oh yeah, it's thick, it's real thick. Anyway, she gave me this pamphlet. I didn't take it. I went in the office to ask her to come down to talk, her that is, come down and talk about their position and they declined. Because they don't want to talk, they don't want to be asked this question on the radio. Listen to me. Your radio station, 105.3 in Ben Harbor. They don't want to be asked on that radio station or no other public platform why they feel they should be able to talk to our 14-year-olds to 18-year-olds, our black children, on becoming gay. Again, I'm going to say it one more time. Women like these, white women's fathers, fathers, fathers on plantation had sex farms. They sold little black boys that they had raped and turned into homosexuals to white men right now they want to come through the same thing now they want to bring in the white homosexual tell us it's okay to be gay they want to train us our children to say it's okay you know she told me herself that young children have feelings of love they can express their feelings of love and all this is what she told me out of her own damn mouth her she did out of her own mouth basically that children have feelings of love they can express their feelings of love this is what she said so it's the same game they want to come in, they created the situation in our households long time ago with the process of the slave farm, the sex slave farms. And it kept going on and on and on and on and on. And the buck breaking process caused black men to go, that were too damn weak minded, to go and start screwing their own damn sons and nephews. On and on and on and on and on. See, when you kill pedophilia, when you kill pedophilia, you destroy homosexuality all the way. And they know that. And they cannot deal the way I say it, because they know I'm telling the absolute truth, and it's exact. These people need to be around children, because they have to recruit children. This is why she is here to organize for the youth. And what the black preacher doing? Not a damn thing. What the black mayor doing in the city of Ben Harbor? Not a damn thing. What's the radio station 105.3 doing about these? Not a damn thing. They're partnering up with these damn devils. Black politicians ain't no damn good. These people like this can buy black folk off. Or they're threatening what they're gonna kill you. Huh? That's what you scared of? They're gonna mash your toes, follow you. When we gonna stand up? 
Everybody can't kiss ass. Dookie don't smell good on your lips and breath. I don't think so. Anyway, my book, The Definition of a Broke Ass, The Homosexual, Lesbian, Transgender, and Bestiality Sold on the Black Race, www.yazrealhour.com. Get you one. The revised version. Get you one. We're not homos and lesbians in training. This is what white folk do. This is why when I went to Canada with this book right here, December 25th, 2015, the same year, this woman here became the director of the Out Center in Harbor, Michigan. They took all these books I had, every one. They took all my DVDs. They said, they said it was hate speech. Hate speech, now, this is what they said. Hate speech, my book. They made me strip butt naked, shine a flashlight in my butt, hmm? made me lift up a testicle sack, scroll them sack to see if I had any dope under there, right? White men now, fags, hmm? punks, right? Now I'm in Canada, now they won't let me go into Canada with my books, none of that, but now I'm in Canada because I got this type of stuff in my book. I expose these devils in my book, what they really get down, what they want to do. Look at this here. Now in Canada, right now in Canada, this is legal. You can, all over Canada, you can marry your dogs. Look at that white girl, look like Iggy, 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 Iggy Sicky, Pissy, Dicky, Sucky, Sicky, Sacky, Iggy Azalea, yeah. And, and look at this white boy here with the damn pee. And look at down there. Look at that tongue kissing a dog. This white culture, the cult that they're in is homosexual. There's Zeus, Zeus, the Greek sky god that we call Jesus or Jesus today was a a man that a deity excuse me that married an entity, an entity that married his sister so it was incest so when you invoke the spirits of Jesus or Zeus or Jesus or whatever in your church in your city in your town in your home you invoking the spirit of incest Because whatever spirit you call upon, when you invoke it, when you say, come on in, spirit, come on in, come on in, Lord, come on in into our service, come into our hearts, come into our minds, come in and take over the service, like you see this smoke doing, that's what you call it. You want this entity to come in and take over, and when you call on that name that the white man gave you, you're going to end up doing what white folk do. And that's become a damn homo. See this here? In my book here. That's the back of the Nobel Peace Prize. Three men with a ding a Right. This country is an illusion. They make you think that righteousness dwells here. Righteousness is what they seek out. The white culture is a culture full of homosexuality, rape, bestiality, the hatred of children, the hatred of adults, the hatred of male and female relationships, the caveman mentality, the battle of the sexes, the Fifty Shades of Grey where they burn all the lines where there are no more distinctions. They want you to be gay. That's it. Or to accept it. They want to make an alliance with you. They want the straight people to, to align with they still stinking asses. I would never do it. Stop telling your children when they come to you and tell you they got gay friends that it's okay. Stop that bullshit, because it's not okay. It ain't okay to have gay lesbian friends if you got a little girl. Your little daughter ain't supposed to have no goddamn lesbian friends. Your son ain't supposed to have no little fag friends. You ain't supposed to have none. They're supposed to be banished. Whether they're your relatives or not, they don't make no goddamn damn difference. Y'all better learn. Boundaries have to be set. And because we loved hunkies, this is what they hear. They came right in when we integrated or assimilated long time ago and brought this faggotry in. Extreme faggotry. And now they're running all over the country with it. Wake up, black man. Get you a sister. And sister get you a brother, drop the other, both of you. Straight, black, 
cry every day, all day. It don't ever change. Brother man, get you a sister, and a sister gets you a brother. Drop the other, both of you. Fuck them hungry. You ain't gonna never win, fam. Or lesbian, dyke, tranny, trick, monkey, punky, whatever. Your time is up, man. Give it up. Ain't you sucked enough dingalings? Haven't you raped enough of your own little boy? You know what? The white man is the greatest killer of white women. Matter of fact, let's talk about the punky for a second. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it myself. Just I'm back for a few more minutes. Look here. The white man done killed more white women than any other man on the planet. But the white woman is looking at us, this, this, these dumb white women, they, oh, you know what, maybe that's why they don't want to talk about loving white men, because they know white men kill their ass. Is that what it is, Dykes? Is that what it is? Y'all don't want to promote love with white men because y'all know how savage your damn daddies and, and husbands and brothers and uncles are. Huh? Is that what it is? Y'all know that they don't give a damn about y'all tired ass. That's why they took y'all out to the island of Lesbos. White men beat white women ass every day. Black their eyes. Cut them up. Hmm? Kidnap their daughters. Take them out in the field somewhere. Screw them. Look at Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was screwing so much. Ted Bundy was a necrophilia. That's going to be in my next book about these hunkers. Yeah, he was a necrophilia. Ted Bundy was screwing dead corpses white hole. He was killing white hole. Let me say this. I'm going to shut up after I say this. Ted Bundy is a well-known serial killer that went around killing white women. Right? And when they died or when he killed them, he'd have sex with the dead bodies. And he had a girlfriend at the time. He told this whole, and I watched the movie now, he told this whole, this, this stupid ass white woman, he told this cunt this cave Becky bitch, this dizzy brawl, this airhead trick freak, he told this dog dingling sucking doodoo back hoe, he told her ass, look here, while they was having sex, he told the hoe, let me just tell you what he told the hoe, okay, he told that hoe, <laughs> act like you're dead, what the fuck, act like you don't move, what the fuck, damn, and he was, oh, 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 oh. I mean, the, he was just, oh, oh. I mean, it was, it was straight savage. He sounded like a beast. That's why you hoes probably don't promote loving white men. I understand that. But I, you know what you should do? Stop having babies. Just stop. Promote that among white girls. Just don't have no more babies and just go on back where you come from and just die off. Because you ain't doing nobody in no damn good. And Ted Bundy, the back to Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy went to prison. Matter of fact, Ted Bundy had holes out in the field that he had killed. Now, in the fields now. In different parts of the country. Dead as hell. Decomposed. And he was banging them. Ain't that crazy? This dude was banging. Freaks. That was dead. Out in the field. Been damn dead. Been dead now. And he was screwing. Corpsed up, mucked up, all that. Smoking cigarettes with him, talking to him and everything. Dead corpse, I mean, de decomposed. I'm, I'm unreal. He had one propped up on her knees and on her elbow. I couldn't believe it. I mean, look at this. He talking to him like they having a conversation, right? This was a crazy freak. And when he went to prison, White women was writing him letters telling him what they loved him and wanted to be with him anyway. My point is, you cannot change the psychosis of these wicked white devil hunkies. You ain't gonna never change it. They ain't gonna never change. It's not possible. They always gonna be lesbians, homosexuals, freaks, aliens, trannies. They gonna do everything against nature because they're not natural. They're not part of Mother Netta. Mother Netta is black. Netta means nature. Nature is Netta. 
the, the, they said Mother Nature or Mother Nature, which means Mother God. The Mother God is black. It ain't got nothing to do with no white hole. That's why they're always doing something backwards and against the creator. They don't love the white, the black woman. They don't love the black man. They don't even love their own goddamn race enough to try to produce healthy marriages among their own damn kind. Enough said, right? Till you see my face again, may the most I take care of you and yours. Peace.